Hi, my name is Alessandra Mondin, and in this unit I will introduce the concept of intersectionality. I will expand the concept using three examples regarding different axes of identity and marginalized groups. Then I will close the unit with further reflections. Scholars Patricia Hill Collins and Sirma Bilge point out how intersectionality is a tool through which it is possible to understand and analyze the complexity of the world and human lived experiences. Social and political life are never shaped only by one factor. They are shaped by many factors in diverse ways that mutually influence each other. The concept of intersectionality is heterogeneous and its history and genealogy are complex. It is rooted in black feminism, for instance, with Anna Julia Cooper and Sojourner Truth at the end of the 19th century, with the Combahee River Collective in the 1970s and with Audre Lorde in the 1980s. But it is also rooted in Latina feminism, for instance, with Gloria Saldua and Sherry Moraga in the 1980s. People in the Global South, too, have used intersectionality as an analytical device, and non western women of color, like Gayatri Spivak and Chadra Moanti, have brought a post-colonial critique to the discussion of intersectionality. While scholars debate the origin of intersectionality, the term has certainly gained more traction from the late 1980s, with the American lawyer, scholar and critical race theorist Kimberly Crenshaw. She considers the oppression of African-American women and how they are erased by a single axis framework, since the norm is set by either white women or black men. Like other thinkers, Crenshaw demonstrates how gender is not the only category at play in terms of oppression of black women. But at the same time, race is not the sole one either. Gender and race together create a unique social position. These axes are interdependent and they cannot be examined in isolation. Consequently, they generate a particular set of opportunities, but also an interlocking set of oppressions. With intersectionality, the idea is that gender is never the only category at work. The formula of intersectionality is that gender intersects with race, race is always sexualized, and so on and there is a dynamic interplay among structures of domination. Overall, we can look intersectionally at social relations, issues of power and system of oppressions in our society. And we can look intersectionally at the issues, lived experiences and identities of the people we would like our media work to be about. As Audre Lorde argue regarding social and political inequalities, there is no such thing as a single issue struggle because we do not live single issue lives. Through the notion of intersectionality, identity and oppression are entirely reconceptualized. Theorists show that intersectionality points out how different sections of power structures interact. Multiple social categories like race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, socioeconomic status intersect at a micro level of individual lived experiences. The individual intersections of these social categories express various intertwined system of privilege and oppression at the macro, cultural, social and structural levels. For instance, with racism, sexism, ableism, eternal normativity and classism. It is important to stress that our experiences of race, class, gender, sexuality, region, disability, etc. interact in multiple ways and work through each other, so the production of a social location is more than just the sum of each part. It is critical to think intersectionally and use intersectionality as a framework to understand identities, to understand social, cultural and political locations, and to grasp both oppression and privilege. In order to capture the complexity of the world and of people's identities and lived experiences and avoid silencing and stereotyping, Research argues that media practitioners must consider an intersectional framework for media production, for media representation, and media access by different audiences. We will explore three different identity categories as a way to talk about intersectionality in the media. But first, please watch Professor Crenshaw discussing the concept in her keynote. 